Demonstrators staged a roadblock in Costa Rica against negotiations with the International Monetary Fund for an agreement to keep a public finances afloat, claiming the deal would only put the country further in debt. U.S. Defense Secretary Mark Esper signed a 10-year military cooperation deal with Tunisia during his first stop on a regional tour, hailing U.S.-Tunisia collaboration over the conflict in neighboring Libya. Kuwait's late ruler, Sheikh Sabah al Ahmad al Sabah, was laid to rest after he died at the age of 91, paving the way for his half brother to be sworn in as the new Amir. Sheikh Sabah, an acclaimed diplomat and mediator who ruled the oil rich nation for 14 years, had been undergoing hospital treatment in the US since July.